subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wasi here and today in this video I am going to show you how you can download and install Xcode from the Apple's developer website instead of the Apple's App Store. So let's start the video. So why should you download Xcode from Apple's developer website instead of the Apple App Store? Well the answer is quite simple. This is because most of the people face the problem that they cannot download the Xcode from the Apple App Store or if their download has started then Xcode download stacks at some point so they face a lot of problem i face that as well so that's why i made this video so the process is quite simple all you have to do is to go to apple's developer website and you're just going to simply download the xcode setup i'm going to show you all that process in a minute on the macbook other than that you need to have a apple's developer account in order to download xcode from the apple's developer website the process is quite simple you can just go to developer.apple.com and you can create your own developer site and after that you can download different beta versions as well of different apple software so let's move towards the macbook and let me show you how you can download and install xcode from apple's developer website so uh, here i am on the macbook and first of all you're going to open any of your browsers You are going to open this page developers.apple.com slash download slash more and from here you will have the list of all the softwares you want here you have Xcode 12 beta 5 that's the one that I'm going to download if you want to download any other Xcode version you can do so here it is Xcode 12 beta 5.xzip and its size is around 10.2 GB you are going to press on it to start the download but first you have to sign in to your apple developers id if you don't have an apple developers id you should make so and after that you can easily download xcode 12 or any of the other apple's developers software so i have already downloaded it i am going to open finder and i am going to go to downloads here it is xcode 12 beta 4 zip i am going to double click on it so now it's going to open the archive utility and it will going to expand Xcode but first it's going to verify the digital signature meaning that whether we have downloaded it from a secure source or not basically we have downloaded it from the Apple's developer website so we should not have any problem when it is checking for the digital signature. So now it's expanding Xcode 12 after verifying the digital signature so it will take some time depending on the power of your MacBook. So I'm just going to fast forward the video from here when the expanding is complete. So you can see on the background we have Xcode beta so it has successfully expanded it. Now I'm going to double press on Xcode beta basically it's an application. So now you can see we have the Xcode icon on the tray as well so now it's going to open Xcode. Install additional required components so we are going to press on install because we need to install some additional software or components that are required to run Xcode. So we are just simply going to press on install and here you are going to enter your laptop's password not your Apple ID one and now it's going to verify the password and then we are good to go so now it's just going to start installing components for xcode so i'm going to fast forward it again because it depends on the power of your macbook as well as the internet speed that you have here you have welcome to xcode so we have successfully downloaded and installed xcode other than the apple's app store we downloaded and installed it from the apple's developer website so if for some reason your app store is not working this is the second alternative and it is a secure one because you are downloading it from the official apple's website. So here I have opened xcode for the first time and you can see uh, it is working properly fine. So guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider do so. Uh, thank you for watching and stay safe.